Much like the box elder bugs who've infested the front of my house, the alien hives continue to grow, their numbers increasing day after day. Hello there, it's Justin from Hans Wargaming. Just giving you another update on my alien hives army. I've had to do a fair amount of troubleshooting on the larger files for this project. The mid-sized units that um, are about roughly the size of a fist, they uh, they don't come hollowed out. So with the free version of Lychee Slicer, you're pretty limited on like what you can do as far as hollowing things out. What I've been doing with a lot of these units is I've been scaling the uh, thickness of the wall back until the arms and anything other than like the body is whole. So there's only one open chamber in the model. And then I try and line a hole up with either the, uh, the mouth or a gun. Or if that doesn't work, then I'll use the underside of the model. I don't have a good way of uh, curing the inside of these models. So uh, I ordered some uh, tiny LEDs and I ordered some uh, fiber optic cable. I'm going to see which one works better to uh, cure the inside of these models. Because like I said, I have, I've had no good way of uh, curing the inside of these things. So they probably aren't cured that well on the inside yet. And for that reason, I haven't primed any of these guys yet, but I've pretty much primed everything else. And you'll, you'll see that at the end of this video. At the beginning of November, One Page Rules released the uh, Alien Hives Titan model. And you got that model for free if you had uh, been subbed for, I believe, three months to their uh, Patreon. So I was, uh, I was just over three months and I got that on uh, November 1st and started printing it out. Overall, it went pretty smooth until I got to the uh, tail piece, like the, the larger tail piece of the two. It was literally the last piece that I printed out. So since I looked at all the other pieces and there was no issues with those, I didn't look at this one layer by layer like I did with the other ones. After I started printing it out, I just happened to go through the file and I realized that there were a whole bunch of islands in the tail that were not supported at all. <laughs> so if you're printing that out, be aware that you need to uh, fix that. What I ended up doing was I just generated supports and that uh, pretty much supported the entire piece like pre-supported supports and the model so then i had to go back and delete a bunch of the supports and then i just kept the uh, supports that were on the inside to me that was the easiest way to do it and then i had to uh, adjust the model to get it sitting on the plate again but once i did that it printed out pretty well so yeah always check your pre-supported models another thing i want to talk about is the uh, mortar beast compared to the invasion artillery the, uh, the Mortar Beast model is like half the size of the Invasion Artillery. And uh, I'm pretty sure the reason for this is because it's supposed to be a proxy for, uh, I believe it's the Biovor. But since I'm not using these models for um, proxies for uh, 40k, I'm actually going to be using these for Grimdark Future. I decided to uh, double the size of the Mortar Beast so that it was uh, about the same size as the uh, Invasion Artillery. Since they're both Toughness 6, it didn't really make a lot of sense to me that one was so much smaller than the other one. At 200%, those two models are about the same size, and it makes a lot more sense if you look at the numbers. Another thing I want to talk about is uh, the fact that it's getting colder here, and uh, I've been running the printer in my garage, and it's been dipping down into the 30s and 40s, like at night and in the evenings. I tried running the printer in my laundry room, which is where I have my uh, vent booth set up. There's a door to that room, so I can close it off and kind of quarantine it if I want, and uh, then the... Uh, the vent kind of creates like a negative pressure in the room. I tried doing one print in that room and I pretty much came to the conclusion that uh, the smell's still too bad. I think at this point I'm just going to print during the day if it's warm enough and I'll probably just be printing a little bit less over the winter, which is okay to me because I have a lot of stuff to paint as you'll see and I have some other projects going on too. So I just had my first major failure. Um, I had this oriented kind of like this with the plate being here. I set up my own supports for this, so I'm assuming that I must have uh, missed a spot and I didn't I, I didn't see it. But I mean other than the tail here, the thing looks pretty good. It's just it's really unfortunate that, that uh, it happened like that. Because uh, if I print another tail out, then it's it's this whole section here with the back legs. Like this is where the cutoff is at for this whole tail piece. So I'd have to print like this whole section out too. Uh, unless I could find a good way to uh, just cut that section of tail off. Or I was thinking uh, I, might, I might end up just sculpting a new tail for this guy. 
because uh, it's it's a pretty basic shape. Eh, it shouldn't be too hard to do, because like like I said, everything else turned out great. I was trying out resin welding on a few of these models. I attached a lot of these models to their bases using this method. That worked out pretty well. It definitely helps give the model a uh, wider footprint if it's uh, if it's got like a really small footprint, kind of like uh, some of the models that just have like one foot touching the base. It really helps to uh, secure them. So I like using that method a lot. For the models with the wider footprint, I did uh, super glue them down and that worked just fine.
I'm considering doing a couple different color schemes for these guys and then doing a YouTube poll to let you guys decide the color scheme. I, uh, I'm pretty sure I need 500 subs to uh, be able to do polls. So if we can get this channel to 500 subs, I will put a poll out and you guys can decide what color scheme these alien hive should be. So yeah, that's just a little update on my alien hives army. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe. That would help me out a lot. Either way, I hope you have a good day and I will see you later.